Ever wondered how to mend a broken relationship? Well, today we're going to delve into just that. Relationships, whether they're romantic, familial or platonic, can sometimes hit rough patches. But the good news is, they can also be mended. So, over the next few moments, we'll be exploring 10 powerful strategies to help you navigate the healing process. From reflection and communication to forgiveness and setting boundaries, we've got you covered. So, let's dive into these powerful ways to mend a broken relationship. Firstly, consider self-reflection. It's important to take time out to delve into your own emotions, actions, and how they've contributed to the current state of the relationship. Understanding your own feelings isn't always easy, but it's an essential part of the healing journey. It's about recognizing your role in the situation, acknowledging any mistakes you've made, and being willing to learn and grow. Remember, self-awareness is the first step towards making positive changes. Secondly, we can't overlook the power of open communication. It's about creating a safe, welcoming environment where honest dialogues can take place. So, share what's on your mind, speak from the heart and listen. Listen not just to respond, but to understand, to really grasp the other person's point of view. It's not always about agreeing, but about gaining perspective and fostering mutual respect. Remember, communication is the key to success in any relationship. Moving on to the third point, let's talk about apologies and forgiveness. The power of a sincere apology should never be underestimated. It's an acknowledgement of mistakes made and hurt caused. It's about taking responsibility for your actions. On the other side of the coin, forgiveness is a gift you give not only to the other person, but also to yourself. It allows you to let go of resentment and bitterness creating space for healing and growth. Let's remember, it's crucial to apologize and forgive to move forward. Fourth on our list is setting boundaries. Establishing clear and healthy boundaries is a crucial step in mending any relationship. This means openly communicating your needs, expectations and limits to the other person. Encourage them to do the same. This mutual understanding helps prevent misunderstandings and conflicts down the road. Remember, having boundaries doesn't mean keeping someone at a distance. It's about respecting each other's personal space and emotional needs. Clear boundaries are crucial for maintaining a healthy relationship. Halfway through our list, we come to spending quality time together. It's about reconnecting through shared experiences. Think about activities you both cherish, Maybe it's cooking a favorite meal, exploring new places, or simply enjoying quiet moments at home. These shared experiences are the building blocks of positive memories. They help to reignite the spark and rebuild the emotional bond that may have been strained over time. Remember, quality time is the foundation of a strong connection. Our sixth point is about seeking professional help. Now, this isn't a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your commitment to mend your relationship. A relationship counsellor or therapist can offer a fresh perspective, help you navigate complex emotions, and provide you with effective tools to mend the bond. They can guide you through the process in a safe and supportive environment. Remember, it's okay to ask for help when you're striving for something as important as rebuilding a relationship. Don't hesitate to seek professional help when needed. Next, let's focus on the positive. It's easy to get caught up in the negatives, particularly when a relationship has hit a rough patch. However, it's essential to remember the good times, the shared laughter, the mutual support. Reflect on the strengths that brought you together in the first place. These positive aspects are your relationship's foundation and they can be the building blocks for your future together. So, always remember to focus on the positives and build on them. Ninth on our list is practicing empathy. It's more than just feeling sorry for someone. It's about truly understanding their feelings, their perspective. Imagine walking in their shoes, seeing the world through their eyes. It's challenging, yes, but it paves the way to deeper understanding and compassion. This shared understanding is a powerful tool in mending bridges, in healing wounds. So strive to understand, not just hear. Embracing empathy can go a long way in rebuilding trust and connection. Almost at the end, our penultimate point is about patience. In the journey of mending a broken relationship, patience is not just a virtue, but a necessity. Healing and growth don't happen overnight. It's important to remember that each person and the relationship itself needs room to evolve. 
rushing to mend things might just lead to more strain. So, give yourselves the time and space to heal, to learn, and to grow stronger. Patience is key in the healing process. Finally, let's talk about rebuilding trust. Trust is like a mirror. Once broken, it takes time and effort to piece it back together. Honesty is your glue here, being truthful even when it's uncomfortable. Reliability comes next. Stick to your word and follow through with your actions. Consistency is the final ingredient, showing up as your authentic self time and again. These three elements, honesty, reliability and consistency, are your tools for rebuilding trust. Remember, trust is the foundation of any relationship. And there you have it, 10 powerful ways to mend a broken relationship. From self-reflection to open communication, setting boundaries, spending quality time, seeking professional help, focusing on the positive, practicing empathy, being patient, and rebuilding trust, each step is a crucial part of the journey towards healing. If this video resonated with you, why not give it a thumbs up? And for more insights into building healthier, stronger connections, do subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.